hello to anybody who is joining us. It's a live stream. Unless it's a recording. You'll know it's a recording if you see, if you don't see a scrolling chat to your right. That means it's a recording. Also, if you don't see a uh, the word live in red letters, then it is a recording. Hi, Melissa. What you doing? I'm making yard sale signs. I thought I would come on here. See how many people were silly enough to join me make yard sale signs. <laughs> oh, is Barb on right now? Oh, wow. I forgot it was Friday. Dang it. I'm missing Barb, too. Well, oh, well. Crap. I always miss her. And, oh, why do I do that? I always miss her. That's okay. Might as well go watch her because I ain't going to be doing nothing interesting right now. <laughs> I'm writing the yard sale. Um, i got to leave a little room at the top. Oh, that's going to be so much fun. Hi, Maggie. Oh, remember that sound? These markers smell really good, though. Oh, yeah. Go watch Barb. This is going to be a train wreck. And I, I'm really bad at drawing, so, yeah. Yard. I know, eek. <laughs> no, not really sen selling anything crafty. Um, dang it, why do these markers got to be noisy? Stop it. Come on. Stop yelling at me, markers. God, how do I get them to shut up? Hi, Maggie. Hi, Josie. I'm not really doing anything interesting. <laughs> I was just going to make some yard sale signs. I'll switch to a different marker as soon as I finish the word. Oh, my God. It sounds like a dying bird. It's like, please put me out of my misery. But well, we all remember these markers, right? We've all used them before. To make, like, when we were in school, we would use these kind of markers. They're great for making signs, but... And, you know, unfortunately, they'll also give you a headache. Not just from the smell. The smell's awesome. I love the smell. Reminds me of childhood. All right, I'm going to switch to a different marker, and let's hope. We're going to use this one. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Kelly. I know, I'm, I'm using squeaky markers. It's markers. Oh, Jesus. Oh, well. I, there's nothing I can do. This one's not as bad, I don't think. So it's going to be squeaky. What are you going to do, right? I'm just being weird. What are you going to do? Yeah, my address is going to be on here. You guys doing anything? Dittos? What are dittos? What are dittos? What dittos smell like? What are dittos? Is that these? That they used to be called dittos? Oh, I don't remember. Am I making your teeth itch? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. Damn it! There's a gnat. It's still after me. Probably made the word yard too big. Um, I guess I don't really have much else to say other than that on these. From the 60s. These ones don't smell as good. These smell so much better. They're more satisfying. Old-fashioned copiers. Ditters? 
Dittos are old fashioned copiers. Copies? Copiers? Huh. They were blue ink. Oh, I don't remember. Around here, you have to say no early birds or you will get them while you're trying to set up and it's the most annoying thing. I wish I had a different color so I can add a different color to it. Let me see. I know I have Sharpies, but you know. Oh, I have my alcohol markers that I don't want to use for anything. They have a thick end on them, I think. Maybe? No, maybe not. I'm trying to think. What do I have that I could use? Let me grab a couple Sharpies and see. I have paint pens. That's what I have. I forgot. I have paint pens. That's what I got. I knew I had something, but I also have these. I have this, which I don't even know where I got that from. Oh, apparently it's a paint pen. Oh, it's like watery. So have you guys been doing some creating today? Oh, this is like yeah, that's going in the garbage. That ain't no good. Gross. Unless it's shakeable or something, but I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think that's going to do anything. Oh, no. Yeah, no. Let me get a paint pen. Let's try that. Let's see. Um, wipes. I, what I did is started, I started putting them in bags to keep them from drying up. I need a date. What are you talking about? Oh, that's right, and you do need a date. You're right. I thought I was like, why do I need a date for a yard sale? <laughs> I do. That's okay, if I screw up, I, can, I have like a million of these. I forgot, it's been a long time since I've made a poster for a yard sale. It's been a really long time. Um, I'll put it here, or I can just flip it over and do it on the other side. I don't feel like it, but we'll just use this one as the extra. There we go. Saturday and Sunday. Whatever. Just got to be careful with the paint pens. So, what have you guys been creating? I don't know. I'm just doing whatever. Just adding color to it. I don't even care. I'm not a good drawer. I'm not a drawist by any means. Just making these letters bigger, thicker. Don't yell at me. You making a mess? See, that's why I need you guys around, because otherwise I'd forget to put a date on my posters. It doesn't matter. People around here will find you. You're having a yard sale. <laughs> See, yard sales are a big deal in the South. People actually take the entire day and go yard sailing, and they just go driving around looking for a yard sale. But what's weird is most people around here don't do yard sales on Sundays. I don't know if it's a church thing. I don't know, but it's really weird to me. 
that's one one done set that aside yeah it's really strange that people do that Should have moved that over more, but that's okay. I keep thinking I'm gonna have to put tape up here or here, maybe, but or I know I'm gonna have to staple it or tape it one of the way, one of one or the other. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how messy they are as long as they say what they have to say. <laughs> that's what I have to say about it. The good old days. They're all going to be in Greenbrier. So I don't think they need that, but just in case somebody's looking it up on their GPS and they don't know. Yeah, 10th and 11th. I'm just putting Saturday and Sunday because that's the only time this, the signs are going to be up is Saturday and Sunday. I mean, I could put 10th and 11th, but I think it's pretty implied. Um, Yeah, I'm going to put arrows on... Some of them, I guess. Um, oh, this is the part I hate the most is putting the arrows on. Um, that's why I have to decide what streets I'm putting them on. I'm only putting them on the main road and then the roads following down to my house. I advertised it on a, on a website, too, so, um, so I'll put an arrow on, a, on some of them. I wish I had something that writ, wrote, writ, wrote broader. But unfortunately, I only have black, two black markers that write broad. I remember one year I made the most awesome yard sale signs. They were had all different colors. And they were huge, and I did like these funny little sayings on them. And people would come, and they were like, "We came to the yard sale because of your signs. They were hilarious because I had these like, and they were much bigger. They were big, huge pieces of the the big poster board. And I had like, I must have put up thirty signs around the neighborhood. This is prior to any kind of YouTube or Craigslist or anything where you can advertise. So. If you wanted people to come to your yard sale, you had no choice but to make awesome signs. Well, I made awesome signs. I had signs that said, you know, turn right at the light, you know. Um, and I, I, would, I don't know, I made some joke or something. And, like, all the signs were, like, 
like has anybody ever traveled to um towards south of the border on i-95 and you go down i-95 and um you see all the the south of the border signs well that's what i did i kind of did that but my version of it which was for my yard sale <laughs> and it was pretty funny oh wait i have a big thick one here what's this looks like a yellow one Oh yeah, that's a bigger one. Let's see what we can do with that. That's, of course it's yellow, not a very good color, but that's okay. We'll just use it to pretend we're highlighting the letters. Just to draw some attention. Not a very good yellow. I'm not going to spend all day doing it <clears throat> because I don't care about making perfect signs. I don't have that kind of patience anymore. When I was in my 20s, I had all that kind of patience. I made glitter signs and all kinds of stuff. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. Not anymore. Now I'm just like, come take my junk and give me money in exchange. Then get out of my yard. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hello to anyone that has just shown up. I want to hi highlight the address too. How are we doing on our on our screw it and do it? Has everybody been making something? Just 10 minutes a day? Hello, Vanessa. Hi, N uh, Nady. Is it Nady? All right, that works. Sign number two is done. Let's do number three. This time we'll see about getting some letters that are straight. Still not straight. Still not even. I'm never good at that. I don't. I don't care. I don't care. Good, Maggie. I'm glad you like it. Mm -mm -mm. This is the one that's going to go on the main drag. This sucker is big. Mm -hmm. 
the red one. Thank you. So this shouldn't take me too long. And then I was going to work on my screw it and do it. Um, card for today. Because I didn't create today other than these signs, which to me aren't really being that creative. I don't want to do these. I kind of have to do these. Because tonight, we're going to go out and put these signs up. And then tomorrow, we're going to be up really early. Ridiculously early. hand in it. And I might live stream from my yard sale if I get bored and anything interesting happens. I had like three people say yesterday, yes, please live stream from your, from your yard sale. I'm thinking, oh, good Lord, it's going to be boring. We do get some interesting characters, though, that come to the, my yard, the yard, any yard sale we've ever had, we've gotten like some interesting people that show up. Interesting. All right. Good enough. Well, oh, let me put some yellow around my address. Anybody else having a yard sale this year? Yeah, I know. Even though I say no early birds, I still get them. Like, I'll even highlight it a little bit, and I'll still get the early birds. They are annoying. They come by in their trucks. You know, they come driving by and like scoping it out. Especially around here with all the rednecks. <clears throat> What's a three hour drive? My house? You can come visit you can come visit me for my yard sale. Come on. Come on. Probably be easier if I did this. And then added the black letters in this. I think I put that one too far up.
and then add the black. <laughs> if I was born in 1954, I'm glad I wasn't born in 1954. I was born in 1973. I don't need to be any older than I am. This marker does not like to write over this paint. Dang it. That was a bad idea. Crap. Okay, well, can never find the easy way out of anything, I guess. Oh, wow, that's funny, Patricia. That would be cool if somebody... I Actually, the last time I had a yard sale, I had a lady come and pretty much clear me out. I had just got done repainting my living room, dining room area, and kitchen. And so I had gotten rid of all the stuff I had that was decorating it because I completely changed gears and colors. So I got rid of all, like... Because I had it all done in, like, red, like a maroony red and like this uh, olive green. It was very like ritzy looking and I got rid of all that stuff. And I had pillows and I had throw rugs and I had placemats and decorations and wall hangings and all kinds of stuff to go with it. And she came and bought it all. She was like, I love it. I want all of it. I'm like, okay, have at it. <laughs> This one will go like that. That's the one of the cross streets. Because I may not be able to put the sign directly at the street. So it might be a little before it, but that's okay. Hold on, what else do I need to put? That's good, I guess. Um, I could have made it a little bigger even. Well, that's all right. That's all right, baby. Yeah, see, Sharpies are no fun because they are no good for coloring in large areas. Plus, I don't like to ruin my Sharpie points on things like this because, you know, I like Sharpies for other things. I like Sharpies for other things.
hello to anybody that's come in. The glitter paint paint that I used yesterday was um, it's from the UK. It's called Starlights. Focus. Starlights metallic paint. And it's by Imagination Crafts. And there's a website right there if it'll show up. Imagination Crafts, I'll just read it. Imaginationcrafts.co.uk. That's where you get those. I need to get more colors of that paint. Because I they have tons of colors. Like like Janet was saying, I think they have like 40 colors now. Yeah. Kendra. There we go. from Nova Scotia. Cool. Thanks for hanging out, Corinne. Alright. Now we're going to make one that says go on to the... Whoops. Sorry. Didn't mean to bag the camera. Whoopsie. I'm dropping everything out of my lap here. Oh. Huh. Oops. Sorry. Sorry. Goodness. Bella. Hmm. Yeah, sorry, I'm not very interesting today. But we're going to work on something in a minute. Uh-oh. Tell me if this thing ain't running out. Come on. It's not that old. It's not very old. 
I literally just opened it. I thought, I don't know, I think somebody gave this to me. I don't remember. I don't quite remember where I got it from. I think I got it in Happy Mail. I'm not sure if it was used or not. I don't think it was. Maybe it was. I'm so indecisive about what's going on. I don't know. Maybe it was used. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's all a figment of my imagination. Hi, Aristi. How are you? So what's Barb doing today? So I know what to look forward to when I go to watch her recording. Anything fun? I'm sure she's doing something fun. She always does something really cool. setting up a big pink canopy tomorrow I used to have I had it you know I have it for when I used to do my yard um, my craft fairs and stuff I have my big pink canopy I'm gonna set it up because because of the medication I'm on I can't be out in the Sun like direct sunlight so I'm gonna be sitting under my big pink canopy at least it'll get noticed as somebody's driving down the road They won't be able to miss my yard sale. It won't be a question of, oh, which house is it? <laughs> It'll be that one with that big pink canopy up by the top of the driveway. You were making a shabby dress, like an actual dress that somebody could wear? Oh, thanks, Terry. Ooh, she was jelly printing on banners. Ooh, fancy pants. Ooh, that sounds fun. And what sucks is when the re the recording usually takes a day or two to go up. And I get it because mine do too. Not a day or two. They mine take a few hours, but hers she usually waits till the next day to to post it publicly because it has to process you know and that's why sometimes my videos like my live streams sometimes will be like if it's over with and you want to go back and watch the recording you might not be able to for a few hours because it's got to process YouTube has to process it otherwise it only shows up in like little bits it doesn't show the whole thing which is weird affirmation feather mobile oh cool yeah that's neat No, I don't really, I've never really made my own alcohol ink. Um, well, I kind of did, but I didn't use alcohol. I actually used printer ink to make mine. Um, I used leftover printer ink in mine. So, Writing's getting sloppier and sloppier. My arthritis sucks because it makes my hands hurt. <laughs> my handwriting used to be really, really, really nice. But it's starting to hurt my whole wrist.
Mm, this one needs to go. Some of these I'm gonna have to tape. I'm gonna have to tape them. Um, ugh. This marker is now running out of juice. Sorry. As long as I go fast with this one, it doesn't squeak as much. <sighs> I don't. This one's going in my neighborhood, so I don't have to color it and make it all fancy. Because if they get the, if they get as far as this one, then they're looking for my yard sale. <laughs> That's how I look at it. I don't have to entice them. They're on their way. Wait, is that what I wanted? This way? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, this one's going to go somewhere else. So I'll put... This one's going to go up by the other road. So I still got to entice them with this one. <laughs> as if my signs are that enticing. <laughs> as if I should, as if this is going to, this is going to make the difference. Putting sloppy red paint marker around the sloppy black writing because that'll entice them because if they weren't already enticed this is gonna do it this is gonna be the over-the-top reason that they're gonna turn their car around and say yeah let's go to that yard sale because they have paint markers that are failing and starting to run out of paint. I don't have the patience to do anything neat and pristine. You should see that, oh my god, this is like what I'm doing. This is like the classiest yard sale signs that I would have that are going to be in my neighborhood. Like, I ain't kidding. People put up yard sales and they, they write Y R D S L E. And that's what they put. And an arrow. They don't even put an address. They just put an arrow. Like, the, the some of the yard sales that I've seen are incredible. And we laugh because they're just hilarious. Yeah, there's some seriously classy signs that go up around here. They're pretty remarkable. What did I say? Let me make a, a right. Look, they listen to me. Wow. Make a right, but let's put a left hour. arrow. That's how, that's how good my brain is working right now. That's how well my brain is working. 
nothing a little gesso can't fix because my brain ain't working i've got so much on my brain right now i was just thinking of something completely like off my rocker and i was just thinking away and there it goes wow i'm doing well i'm doing really well i i think i'm under a little stress today i really am the guy that came to do the yard didn't mow it low enough yeah, go ahead, laugh all you want. Ay, ay, ay. I'll set that aside for the time being. Whoops. The guy came in that mowed the yard, didn't mow it short enough, and really annoyed me. So one there, one there. Okay. Um, thanks, Shelly. So, my yard is not as low as I would like it to be. Sorry. Noisy marker. top of that Chris was supposed to get up early today earlier so that he can get home earlier so that we could put the signs up before it got dark so that I'm not traipsing around because I'm the one that's gonna have to get out of the car and put them up not him and so he's gonna pull the car up and I have to get out in the weeds on the side of the road oh Sandy's got some new crafting goodies but I'm the one that has to get up or get out and actually put the signs out. Because he's too much of a dumbass to be able to do it. Um, I'm just going to put... Um, This one will go on a straight road. That one's going to go on the straight road. Let's see. Do I need any more? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'll make a quick, another quick one like that, and I'll leave the bottom blank and bring my marker with me in case I need to do the, Okay, we're done. I am selling a bunch of crap. That's what I'm selling. Crap from around my house. Oh, I dropped all my markers. 
a bunch of household i don't even know because it's been piling up down there and we've been putting it down there and putting it down there for two years i've been going through and slowly packing up and putting stuff down in the garage to sell so honestly i don't even know what i got down there a bunch of household crap um yeah a bunch of household crap some clothes um i've got some of my jewelry and stuff that i had from my from my craft fairs i might put some of that out just to get rid of it just a bunch of stuff that's pretty much it you know how it is you know how you accumulate and especially with me wanting to get this house sold in order to do that i gotta get rid of some stuff because i need that room in the garage to um oh i need that room in the garage to uh put up put stuff that i um pack you know finish packing down there did I show you guys this? I got this from Lynn. I think I got this yesterday. I think I showed it yesterday. Postcard from Lynn. And hold on, I got two other postcards today. Let me show you. I got one from Connie. Yes really pretty look at that really pretty fairy postcard what do you mean my old jewelry parts i already do but what do you mean by old jewelry parts what are you referring to and then this one came from Danina. Look at that badass thing. <laughs> That's so awesome. Isn't that cool? Danina made that for me. I love it. And it says, do what you love, love what you do. So cool. I love that skull. She's awesome. Oh, all right, I'm going to go grab a drink. And then we're going to get started on my 10-minute career. Oh yeah, I already use all that stuff for mixed media. I just don't, I don't use like certain things in my jewelry stuff I don't like to use in my mixed media because I like to keep it for jewelry stuff, but I already do use a lot of stuff like that. I have a bunch of old junk jewelry I have that I take apart and use it in my mixed media. I do that too. I just haven't done it in a while, that's all. I have it all hanging up on my closet. I have like a, like one of those closet hanger thingies and I have all my old um, costume jewelry like hanging up. And I'll go over there and pull stuff off of it all the time because I have a lot of like chunky jewelry that I used to wear. Anyway, I'll be right back. I gotta grab a drink. Gotta remember about that gessoed sign that I fix it before I, uh, I'm gonna throw my sweater on. I'm getting cold again. I'll get cold for two seconds and then I'll be hot. Hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. Yeah, I just haven't had the inkling to do a massive canvas with lots of 
stuff on it yet. Um, I'm actually going to be doing some actual encaustic painting soon. Um, that'll be fun. So what do you all do in your 10 minute thing in? Some of you, I know Danina had gone out and gotten herself a box to do it in. Like a, she's using a cool like recipe box that has like recipe cards in it. Oh, did I put it over there? I think I did. I'm an idiot. Um, but obviously, just use what you got. Don't buy something special. What are those paintings? What paintings? What you mean? Um, so these are some backgrounds I made when I was messing around with things. Um, these are for, uh, will be further explained in an upcoming video that I'm in the process of finishing editing. But anyway, these are some backgrounds when I was doing the feathers and I put some, um, stenciling on them. I had these cards sitting there, so I added some of that. This is some, this is a card I was messing around with some wax and I just threw some wax stuff on there and collaged it. The ones I mentioned, mixed media or encaustic. I'm not sure which one you mean, mixed media or encaustic. Uh, the encaustic is wax painting, which is where you're painting with wax. It's a lot of fun. Look it up on YouTube. It's interesting. It's spelled E-N-C-A-U-S-T-I-C, -C, encaustic. It's pretty neat. It's something that I've never really done and I'm just now getting into. And I really like it. Um, hmm. Now I want to think about what I want to put on here or if I want to put anything on here at all. I might want to just grab some white ones and start painting and see what I come up with. And as I think about what I want to do with those, add some color on some other ones. Why not? Let's do that. Let's add some color on these. Because why not? If that's how it works. You add color on things. Let's use some of this color. Acrylic pour yeah, acrylic pouring is fun. I've done acrylic pouring. Um and it's a lot of fun. And uh yeah, I'm planning on doing some. I don't know if I'll do it before I move, but I plan on doing some again definitely after I move because that's one of the reasons I don't do it now is because I don't have the room for it. Um, I did it years ago. I did it down in my garage, actually. It was before I did videos. I did it down in my garage. I would set up. Um, and I sold a couple of them. Or pretty much all of them, I think. I think I have one or two of them left. The ones that aren't as great. Sometimes they don't always come out so great. Yeah, I love this. The cell effect is what you get when you use, uh, when you squirt um, silicone into your, into your pouring. Um, you don't generally get that cell effect without pour, putting some silicone in your pouring medium and, and whatnot. You can, but you get it a lot more when you put that in. Like that, and you know what I'll use? Some of that glitter paint. We'll use some glitter paint. No, I don't want that color. I like this color. This color is considered turquoise. It's a very interesting color. I really like it. In 
interesting. It's a really cool color. It looks really dark on camera, but it's not that dark. I mean, it's obviously darker than this color, but it's not as dark as it's portraying. It's dark, though. I mean, you know what I mean. I just like finger painting. Silicone oil? Um, no, it's like a spray. Uh, I don't think it's an oil. It's a spray. It's kind of, it's meant for like, kind of like WD-40, except it's not WD-40, but it's meant as a lubricant. It's a silicone lubricant. But I'm not sure it's an oil necessarily. I'm not sure about that. But you can buy it in the hardware store. Let's add purple on one and yellow on another. For treadmills? I don't think it's oil. Um, I know it's a lubricant, but not necessarily an oil. Plastic from Amazon and a little plastic. Usually they come in a can that sprays. I don't know. I don't know the different types. All I know is that the, the kind that sprays kind of like WD-40 does. So, but there, I'm sure there are plenty of other, I'm sure there are lots of ways it comes. I don't know much about it. I just know that that ends up giving you those cool cells. Floetrol. Yeah, Floetrol too. Uh, yeah, I heard about that. Huh. Yeah. Well, interesting. It sure is interesting. All the different things. It's fascinating to me. Well, that's pretty. I'll move that over to dry put it up here. Now I'm going to get my heat gun and dry these suckers. Awesome, Marion. Thank you. I appreciate that. I did a kind of a, a pouring um, technique, but it wasn't on a canvas. It's in an upcoming video that I've been working on. Uh, it gives you a, a skin kind of. It's kind of just to make an acrylic skin. It's not necessarily to, it's not to make a canvas or anything pretty like that. It's to make a skin, like a cool skin. Well, that's how I remember I showed you this. That's how I got that. That's the acrylic skin from when I poured the acrylic medium. So you'll have to look for that video coming up. I was just messing around with different textures and different things that make texture. Um, just for mixed media purposes. So that was kind of a pouring method, but a little different, obviously. So now I've got all of these backgrounds. They're so awesome. So now I have to figure out what I want to do with them. 
I have, let's see. Oh. I got these from the Creative Reuse the last time I was there. I, I may, might want to save these for some jewelry pieces. I don't know what they are. Does anybody know what these are? I think they came out of like an oyster or something and they're like that. Can you see what they are? They have that reflecty kind of oystery color. Does anybody know what these are? They're like little bits and I thought maybe they would match but they don't really match this. Okay, maybe not those. I want to do something with those though, with jewelry or something. I don't know what though. But let's see, what else do I have? It's time to do some digging around. What is that? Oh, that's not what I want. Let's see. Um, let's see. I got some. I got some pretty tags. I was sent in some happy mail. Uh oh, there goes my phone. Hey, hold on. Shut it off, and I'm about killing myself to get to it so that my phone will stop ringing. No, I'm gonna get flagged on YouTube for this damn thing ringing. Shut up, please, ringtone. I always have to turn my ringer off. The problem with that is when I turn my ringer off. Then when somebody tries to call me or a doctor's office or something important, I forget to have my ringer back on. And so then I end up in trouble because I don't get messages I need because of stupid telemarketers who constantly call me nonstop without fail all day. And I know what it is. I, I see it on the phone. I know what they want, who they are. Ooh, that would look pretty on there. These jackasses are calling me 24-7. They want something. Guess how much it cost in my country, the Liquitex Matte Medium. Oh God, it's $45 for matte medium. We don't need matte medium, just use glue and water. Screw matte medium, it's too expensive. Hmm, these were sent to me too. They would look pretty on there. They're a little too big though. They would look pretty on there. I don't wanna cut them though. Hmm. I'm trying to find little doodads that I have that I can use. Ooh, that would look pretty on there. Actually, maybe that one there and that one there. Because I want to use up some of the stuff that I have that's given to me or that I've accumulated because I tend to hoard all that stuff a lot. big. That's crazy though. $45 for matte medium. That's insane. I don't know why they put such a markup on things just because it's not in the same country that it's made in or Whatever. Oh, why am I having trouble finding things today? <laughs> That's cute. It says, bear with me. 
very fitting for today. That kind of fits there. Fourteen dollars for about an ounce. Get out. That's crazy. Try this drawer. I know I got stuff in here. Somewhere I've got stuff. This is all too big. Everything I'm pulling out are too big. Too big. Too big. I need to find some little stuff. Where's all my little stuff? That don't belong in there. Hmm. And I can't find little stuff. Hmm. Why am I drawing a blank? This is what I get for rearranging stuff and everything being in a different spot. <laughs> take some of this and collage it on there. How about that? Catch you later, Melissa. We're going to collage some uh, baby napkins, baby napkins, baby wipes. We're going to collage some ass wipes. If I can find my towel, which I've completely lost all of a sudden. You gotta be kidding me. There it is. I'm a hot mess today. I'm having issues. Seriously, my brain is in seven different directions. And that glue needs to be cleaned. Because my lid is stuck. Have you ever done burnt brown bag? What does that mean? Like burned a brown bag? I've burned edges of things, but what's a burnt brown bag? Sounds fascinating. My brain is flying right now, not because I'm creative at all. I feel very not creative, which is probably why I good I'm sitting here forcing myself to do something. Because my brain is in seven different directions because of tomorrow and Saturday and all the things I've got to do. So therefore, I'm having trouble concentrating on anything. And I feel very overwhelmed. And so I feel like I'm boring the hell out of you guys too at the same time. But, uh... Yeah, I'm interested in knowing what this brown burnt bag thing is. Because that sounds pretty neat. I'm just throwing some texture on here. Just for fun. Because it's something I had sitting here, and why not? And I'll throw some glue behind this, and this will pop down. Because I think that works. Because I am definitely wanting to say, bear with me. Me. I'll have to use aliens for that. 
then we've got this one, which I think I'm going to put like a vintage photo on that one. And this one, we'll put some texture on that one. Now I need to do something with this one. I don't want to put that on there. What do we put on there? Janet. I'm having a brain fart trying to work past it because my brain's not working. Oh, I know. These two things always help me out, these two boxes. I'm under some stress today. You know part of the reason. And then the other part of the reason is this damn yard sale fiasco. And I'm just out of sorts today. But that's all right. I don't even know where my scissors are today. <laughs> That's true. I should just stamp some fairies on here and be done with it. That's a good idea. But I don't know if they would show up over top of all that. Maybe. We could try. Or, like I'm going to do, let me see if I'm going to do something on there. Because I've got some fabric bits that I could put down. Like that. I saved fabric bits in this little box. Scrap fabrics, things that, I don't know, things. that I can use and cut up in different ways. Leprechaun yard sale signs. <laughs> Why are they leprechaun yard sale signs? Are you talking about mine? Leprechaun. Kinda. Kinda small. Are you trying to say small? <laughs> yard sale signs? Why are they? No, not these. These aren't yard sale signs. Are you talking about these? <laughs> I think Linda's on drugs. Are you on drugs today, Linda? Were you over hanging out with Barb for too long? Alright, why isn't this working out? There we go. <laughs> she says, no. You weren't hanging out with Barb? You left Barb all alone today? Fend for herself? Without you there? How can that be? You need to help Barb out. Poor Barb, she'll miss her Linda. 
<laughs> She'll miss her Linda. We're going to stick some of that on there. We're just sticking stuff on everything. Why not? Who cares? Just stick it on. Whatever happens, happens. That's what Janet always says, right, Janet? Whatever happens, happens. Just stick it on. <laughs> I'll just throw Janet under the bus. If it would stay stretched out, it would be awesome. But it doesn't want to. nobody's missing you oh bull I'm missing you well you're here now I can't miss you when you're here get out and I'll miss you where's my rag why do I keep busting my rag somewhere that doesn't sound good Ugh. where did it go Linda, did you take my rag? There it is. I knew you had it, Linda. Knew it. What will be, will be. Ah, oh, okay, sera, sera. Okay, sera, sera. Whatever will be, will be. Yeah. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. Haven't a clue, but we're just going to go with it. Because who cares? I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to be. But we're going to make it work. Maybe we'll put like a words there or something. Let that dry a minute. Come back to it. Oh, this stuff in here too. Ooh, this stuff would look good here. That's a good idea. Good thinking. Good thinking, Janet. Are you hiding me under your tin? Am I hiding you under a tin? Is that you? what this stuff is. I don't remember what this is from. I think somebody sent it to me as just some random bits and I'll put some on this side and then we'll stick some fairies in the middle or something. Why aren't you sticking, first of all? Don't make me come down there and kick your butt. My hands are sticky. Hmm. Stop it. Stay. Stay put, really. I mean it. Sell him? Sell who? Who am I selling? Did you get the X in a tux? In a tux? Why would I get him in a tux? Maybe sell him quicker at the yard. Oh, God. I wish I could sell him at the yard sale. Believe me. I wouldn't get much money for him. <laughs> Lazy child at 43 years old. He's for sale. Anybody want him? <laughs> now, let's hit this with the heat gun. See if I can get it to dry and stay down.
Yeah, I would have to pay somebody to take his ass away. That's the sad part. Oops, what did I knock over? I knocked over my fairy pants. See, I used the fairy pants there and there and made fairy pretty glitter until I covered it up with Mod Podge, which just a FYI, if you use anything matte, like matte Mod Podge, matte medium, over top of anything glitter, it's going to mattify it and make it not glittery anymore. Just an FYI, if you didn't know that. A lot of people don't know that. And then they're like, why is my thing not glitter anymore? That's why. It happens. Get out of fairy. Mm -hmm. Let's stamp, not just stamp, but let's stamp and emboss this fairy. I like this one. Oh, wait. Let me see. Yeah, that one won't fit. This one will fit right there. Kind of. She'll fit, sort of. Um... We'll put her over here, and then we'll put some sort of saying, if it'll fit. Oh, she's going to go here, right? She's going to have to go here. And then, all right, from this dot over, yeah, I can fit, we'll make a wish. Okay, cool. Let me get all this stuff stuck back in here. And find the rubber band thing that was around it. Now I lost that. <sighs> Cramp. Cramp. Where'd my thing go? Really love who? Ugh. Don't make me vomit. Don't make me vomit. Luckily, I have another one, but I'm sure it'll pop up somewhere. Ooh, and you know what else I got? Sequins. I got sequins. Put those away, and oh no, my embossing powders are... A little covered up. Oh, might take a second to get to them. There we go. Okay, I got embossing powder. I need black for. Hmm. I wonder if like this copper. I don't know. I don't think that would look good. I think black is the only thing that's going to show up on that background. So I'm going to be on the safe side. I think that's black. Alright, I'm going to need some Versamark. some glue on this and stick it so it can dry while we're screwing around here <gasps> oh no that shifted uh oh uh oh <laughs> 
Oh no. Dang it. I fixed it. I don't know how that happened. What are we doing, by the way? Uh, well, I did my yard sale posters. I don't know if you were here for that. That was really riveting. I don't know why anybody tuned in to watch me put, make yard sale posters with a squeaky marker, no less. I think I just wanted some company because I hate making yard sale posters. <laughs> There's nothing really artistic about making yard sale posters. I just needed to get them done. And now we're doing the screw it and do it. Do something. Get off your ass and do something. And I choose to do it on my little cards so that even if I'm not feeling particularly creative, I can at least do one of these little cards in a day for, you know, take 10 minutes out of the day and do something so that I'm not completely so that I'm not completely just not creating. You need to be creating. Even when you don't feel up to it. But what's nice is even if you have a long day at work and you don't think you have time, hogwash. Everybody's got 10 minutes. Even you, Linda. Even you, Laura. Oh, get some sleep, girl. Well, Laura's tired. She got to get some sleep. Read, woman? Why are you telling me to read? Me as a F Facebook mega noob. Posting it on Facebook. What did you post on Facebook? Oh, crap. I missed it. And I gotta do this first before I can scroll up and see. Sorry, I can't read and do it at the same time. <laughs> you all expect so much from me. Okay. Wow, that's slippy slidey. I hope I didn't screw that up. Scroll up, because that's easy to do when your hands are full. if I don't want to scroll up? You can't make me. I'm telling. Janet, she's picking on me. I told on you. That's really dark. Imagine if that didn't come off. That just stayed there. Well, the word make is a little iffy, but that's okay. I wasn't very good at stamping it. I didn't do a very good job. Goodness, you like to hold on to that paper, didn't you? Now I could stick up for myself. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Pretty. Ten minute poodle pack on Facebook. Oh, you posted in that on the in the poodle pack group. Awesome. Did I did I see it? 
I didn't see it yet. Hmm. I'll have to go look when I'm done. That's cute. Isn't that cute? Oh, did I show it up close? I don't remember what I just did. Focus! I know you want to. Getting closer. See, the word make is a little bit... But it's implied. It's the word make, but it's implied. <laughs> That's how we do things. Oh yeah, and I have sequins. Sequins! Where are my little sequins? Oh, I don't know, but I'll use these. Sequins! Mm. Hey, Beck! I don't know whether I open these like that or like that. I forget how to open these. Oh, I found it. I think. Yeah, there it is. You don't know if you're gonna buy a camera or not. Are you gonna do? Are you gonna do videos, Linda? You don't do videos yet, do you? You should definitely do videos. If you have not started doing videos, girl, you should do videos. Faux shizzle. Close, Janet's very close. C nine thirty E or something, something like that. Yeah, nine thirty. But if that's if you're gonna do videos, you definitely want that camera. It's a good one. You do make videos, Linda? Oh wait, maybe you do. I think I'm subscribed to you. You might. I, I mean, not you might. I might be subscribed to you already. I probably am. If you make videos, then I'm already subscribed to you. My brain just doesn't work. I bet you I'm subscribed to you already. I can't remember. I'm subscribed to so many people that I don't remember. And I always feel bad because people that are subscribed to me, I know that they, like, I'll subscribe to them. I'll subscribe to anybody that's subscribed to me. Um, that has videos. You only have 13 subscribers? Are you new? You must be new. How long have you been doing it? Oh, we need to change that, girl. Everybody go right now and subscribe to Linda. Look her up on YouTube and go subscribe to her. Right now. Oh, a month? That's it? Oh, you knew. You knew, girl. You knew. You knew. You a noob. But yeah, go subscribe to Linda right now. Linda McAllister. Subscribe to her. She my friend, I say so. She knows what, why is this popping up? Lay down, Sally. <laughs> Should have got another, see it's literally popping up. It does not like me. We'll just put two blue over there. So you're not new on YouTube? Well, if you've only been on YouTube a month, then you're pretty new.
Yeah, if you've only been on YouTube a month, then I might not be subscribed to you yet. But I will be when I'm done here. There's a lot of sequins on them there, card. All right, let's go to this one. What are we doing with you? Give me something. What are we doing? What are we doing? Make come to my brain. It's not working. It's not coming to my brain. I can't stamp anything on it. It's too lumpy and bumpy. I'm gonna do it with my stamp block. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Come to my brain and tell me. Oh wait, I might have something in here that would look good on there. Why is my lighter there? I don't know. It's so weird. Weird things. Oh, my heart. My heart matches that one really well, and I think it would go good there with like a saying. I don't even need to do much more than that. Mm, let's see what I got in here for this one. Nothing in there, really. Yeah, you can't paste links in YouTube for some reason. They don't let you. But if your your name obviously is Linda McAllister on YouTube, right? It's the same as it is right here. So all people have to do is just write your name into the search bar, and they should be able to find you. They should. They should. off my lap. Mm. Hold on one second. God, I had did these. That's another thing you're going to learn in an upcoming video. Hmm. Good deal. Janet found a way around it. Janet found a way to beat the system. I have that one on one. I can do the butterfly and a fairy door. You need to buy a new cam. You had something like over 25, I buy a new cam. Over 25 what? Oh, subscribers? Well, looks like you might need to, to get one. If you need me to help you pick it out, let me know. I can, um, if you're 
friend me on Facebook, and then I'll um, I'll help you get it, get your camera and everything. I'll find you what you need. If you're looking for a camera, I could find you one at a good price. You definitely want the one that I have right now. This is a really good camera. It's a nice HD camera. Speaker works. Pre speaker microphone works pretty good on it. Everybody usually can hear me very well. And not just that, but it has a good focus now that I switched to this camera. And what's cool about these is I can color them too. and the butterfly. Oh, could have fit. No, it's the Logitech E930E or wait, C930E. Yeah, 930E. That's it. C, it's the C930E. A video on how I made these little suckers are coming out um, maybe later tonight when I get home from putting out signs. I'm gonna have to cut off the little curly cues on the tail. Um, I make these little paper, glue paper things and then they, they look like translucent. And um, you can color them with watercolor or with like your inks, like your distress inks, and it looks kind of cool. I'll show you in a second after I clip it all out. Fussy cut. Uh, Logitech, Linda, Logitech, L-O-G-I-T-E-C-H, Logitech. Okay. Now, let's see, where are, hmm, um, hmm, I was going to use my markers, but I don't know where they are, my little aqua markers, what'd you do with them, Janet? around so much that I forget what I do with things sometimes. Um, 
You ate them? You're gonna have the poops. You are gonna have the poops. I'm just gonna use these watercolor markers to add some color to these itty bitty things. Oh my goodness, that wasn't fluorescent. I don't know what is. I wasn't expecting that to be so bright. I'm gonna put a little bit down there. Goodness, that's a bright marker. Goodness, goodness. I missed them and they are like kind of clear ish. I can't see where the camera is. There it is. And if I take a napkin, I can pat off some of the color. Might get lost in the background a little bit. I might have to put some more white. Maybe I'll use a little gesso so that it pops out a little bit more. I do have the best subbies, that's for dang sure. That's for dang sure. I'm just going to make this gessoed up a little bit. This way. Maybe that'll show up. Yeah, that's better. Much better, much better. Jenny, <laughs> you were watching so intently. Goodness, are you bored? Am I boring you yet? 
and then I'm going to put some glossy accents over top of it. I may have to wait till that dries to do it, but that's the plan is to then put glossy accents over it and see. Whoops, you don't wrinkle it. Let's see how that turns out. And then we will glue the heart down. You took me to the bathroom? Awesome. I like going to the bathroom. Was your bathroom clean? Or is it dirty? Because I don't like a dirty bathroom. Don't bring me into no dirty bathroom. <laughs> Oh, you missed the signs. You didn't miss anything. Believe me, you did not miss anything. <laughs> they were very boring. Uh, this is outlining. Can't even tell. Might as well use black. Because that ain't working. That's not the one. Hi, Jane! We missed Jane when she's not here. I miss Jane when she's not here. Jane and Janet are like my two sisters. They keep me in line. They make sure if there's something that needs to be said, they tell me. I kick and scream about it. But honestly, without the two of them telling me what's going on, <laughs> nothing would be getting done. They are the backbone of my chat. Keeping me in check. Alright. Now what? Tell me what you want. What you really, really want. What's that? You wanna uh? You wanna uh? You wanna uh? You wanna zig 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 uh? <laughs> no, but did anybody get that song? Anybody know that song? Nope. Zig 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 ah. Uh, whatever it is, I don't know. I really, really, really wanna zig zig ah. Uh. If you wanna be my lover. You gotta get with my friend. <laughs> Alright, where is it? Um. Mm -mm. Ooh, you know what I want to do? I want... Where are my little things? What did I do with them? See, I moved things around again. Or, not again, but I mean, I've moved things around. Janet got it. You should get it. The girls are from over there. There they are. 
Oh, I was looking for my little words. Whoops, which are open. Apparently. That one. Maybe. Maybe. I need to make some more. You were napping, Jane? How dare you take a nap? Um, I'm working on my little screw it and do it. Um, um, cards. Yeah. I don't have a goddess on here, but I like the moon goddess. You guys can't see. Moon goddess. It looks all dark and moony. <laughs> moony. Nighttimey. I don't know. I should zoom you in, but I don't know what I do with the mouse. Oh, there it is. Underneath all kinds of stuff. Let's see. Will it let me do it? Uh, mm -mm. There we go. You're finishing the rest of your postcards. We could do Moon Goddess on that one. And we can do... Um, we can do... Word serendipity. Or we can just do choose love with my two messed up ones. That's good. That works. I sit outside to craft. Oh, that's nice. Sitting outside is good. Hi, Debbie. Choose love. Moon goddess. Let's glue those suckers on. Why not? Those are some of my first tiles. They were all messed up. They were like really wonky, those ones. But I kept them anyway. I'm like, I don't care. These are the ones that were, that started coming out a little bit better. Because it looks like at any minute a moon goddess is going to open the door. Because it looks like it's kind of nighttime. I don't know. That's just what I think in my head. I should put stars on there. 
Ooh, I have stars too. Where are they? I have little star sequins that would be cute. Let me see if I can find them. I have a lot of sequins. I went in on a bunch of sequins from this lady like two years ago or something. Um, a friend of mine, we went in on a bunch of sequins and we split them in half because there was tons of them. I even have little moons. See these little moons and little stars? Um, so yeah. They're tiny though. I need my little thing in order to pick them up because they're just too tiny. They're like tiny enough to get on your nerves to the point where you just want to throw them in the garbage. <laughs> Because you're like, no, I can't do it. Um, so what I usually do, I'll put it, if I want these in a particular area. Because I use them a lot of time like glitter. And I'll just put some glue down and sprinkle them on. And whatever hits the glue, hits the glue. I'm organized. Did you just call me organized? I, well, all right. I am organized to an extent, as much as I can be in this very cramped, very cramped space. Um, I'm organized as much as I can be organized in a space this cramped. <laughs> all right. Actually, I'm going to use glossy accents just because I can tap it into a couple little spaces, a tiny dot. like that um, and I can just go in and hopefully get the put the stars onto the spots with the oh no oh no Man down, man down. All right, every now and again, one's got to be very difficult. And then that's how I get them on there. There we go. And then of course the glossy accents will dry clear. I mean, you don't have to use glossy accents, but I don't know. It's just easier. I'll put some there and I'll put some over there. Uh. Yeah, no. Unfortunately. Hold on a second. My computer is now yelling at me. I 
I can't answer it because I don't have a private thing on my computer. Do you know what I mean? Um, are you, if you can text me on my phone, um, but I already took, I already dealt with it, Janet. I don't know if you noticed. I'm not sure. Are you not in here? Um, in other words, my speaker would be What were you on before, Janet, or Jane? Like a tablet or something? Oh, you noticed after. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. 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 What did I do? Oh, it's stuck on my hand. That's not a good place for it. Come on. Alright, why are you acting up? You is acting up and I can't see. too big. Let's see. Nope, that's going to be too big. I do too. I love glossy accents, but I have to put it into a different container because, oh, I might have dried it all up. <laughs> it might have taken too long to do this. it now are we no oh you were in the bathroom on your tablet <laughs> I do that all the time <laughs> I practically lived in the bathroom on my phone for like months when I was sick It's actually easier to do to put the glossy accents on my finger actually yeah that's working better I didn't think this was gonna be such a process well I don't think I'm well maybe I should put some there I don't know this is a lot of tedious work the gesso is on. Repeat. The gesso is on. The gesso is on. Um, all right. The gesso is that is that code word for something? The gesso. I received a gift today from Odette, actually. Speaking of gesso. But I'm not going to show it right now. I'll have to show it in another video. Because pretty soon I'm going to have to get off of here. Because some when Chris gets home, we have to run. And go um, put the signs up. And then I'm going to have to go to bed early. And that's why another reason why I decided to come on is because I know that for the rest of the weekend, unless I'm live at my yard sale, um, 
which I might. It's not a code word. This the gesso is on. What is the gesso on? Oh, did you put gesso on something? Are you gessoing something, Linda? Miss Linda, what are you gessoing? These are so tiny. Why did I decide to do this? They're itty bitty. Because they're cute. That's why. They are cute. I guess that's okay. They're cute, but they're like, um, what do you call it? Patience testers. I'm only doing them on the top because that's all I have the patience for. I think they look cute up there. Come on, you want to focus. I know you can do it. You are not your brother. You are not humpy. McJackass, you are Psy. Psy is good at focusing sometimes. It can be a little crabby, but that's okay. As long as he focuses when I hold it up to the camera for the most part. Even if I have to hold it real close. If I hold it like that, usually it'll focus pretty well, which is good. As long as it focuses like that, I'm happy. That's pretty good. It's focusing okay. I think. Who knows? Can't tell. He's being crabby today. Some days he's crabby. This one's pretty simple, but that's okay. Simple's good. Sometimes you just need to have simple. Same with these. These are pretty simple. I'm going to surround that one in some teal just to be silly. Just to be silly, I'm going to use up my teal. I'm going to be very upset when I when I use all this up because this one's one of my favorite colors. And it'll make me sad, just like it did when my ginger one ran out. But then I was able to get new ginger ones at Christmas. I was so happy. The gin, what is it called? What is it called? Here it is. This is my favorite. No, wait a minute. That's not it. Here it is. This is my favorite one to like, oh, I'm off camera, um, to ink edges with when you're doing something vintage is this gingerbread color. It's like the perfect color. Ooh, nice focus, Cy. Good boy. Um, this gingerbread color is badass. It's my favorite. I bought two of them at Christmas time when I had Christmas money so that I would have another brand new one and that's the one I'm using currently because if I run out of it I will die. I love it. Hi Cheryl. Woohoo! Did you figure it out on your um what was it your phone or your tablet? I think you said it was your phone, your new phone. Yay! You're missing something though. Some sparkle maybe? Hmm. Oh, I know. I can use the stars. Oh, I meant to put a moon on here. Oh, man. I could put it right there. But I can use the stars as glitter like I was talking about before. But I definitely need a moon. Just one. We've missed you. So glad you're back. just going to pick you up and put you on there. Or you could stick to my finger and then just be rambunctious and annoying. 
How much, why won't this thing pick anything up? What's going on? It's your whole job. You have one job to do. Just pick stuff up. I'm trying to see if it's, there we go. I think you're already stuck down. Come here. There we go. Is Pixie here? I haven't seen Pixie in a while. Thanks, Jenny. Dang it. Get back here. Alright, let's see if I can get you on. That's going to have to be good enough. Between my glossy accents and this thing driving me nuts nuts i'll say yeah i like that one that one's simple but cute they don't all have to be masterpieces and perfect i really like that one and this one needs a quote still but i like it still nonetheless and this one's gonna get some glitter Let's see, need a piece of scrap. It's 5.28. His ass better be home by 6.30 because that's when we're going to go do our thing. I'll stay on as long as I can because I know I ain't going to be around all weekend and that's going to be annoying. Not to you, but to me. I like hanging out with my girls. I think it is the We Are Memory. Yeah, it works great. But when you get glue on the end of it, it starts not working. But what? yeah, it's the We Are Memory Cute Peepers. Oh, you were, you're right on it, Janet. And you, it has like this goo inside of here. Like this green kind of, it's kind of like that stuff. Do you, and I bet you, you can, if it runs out, you can replace it with that stuff. Do you know like stuff it's like that putty stuff that you can like tack posters up with and it's usually blue and it's like that sticky stuff and you could tack a poster up with it it's kind of like that stuff in here and all you do is you turn it and a little bit of it comes out enough to it's sticky enough to pick up whatever you want to pick up like a gem or whatever so when this runs out, I'm just going to take some of that stuff, that blue stuff, and stick it in there and see if it'll work. Because I bet you a million bucks it'll work. But I haven't, I've had this for like four years and I haven't run out on it yet. So it's all good. So we're going to put some stars randomly over here and there and everywhere. I'm just sticking some glue. I figured why not. They'll look cute. Yeah, blue tack. Yeah, that tack stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that stuff will work, I bet you. See, this is how I use it normally, most of the time. I use it as a glitter because it's so little. It's like a chunky glitter. And it works great for that. And just flick all the loose loosey gooseys off but look how cool that little wait let me get it off of the why is it on there get off of my thing but look how cool it looks please focus Come on. Come on. 
You gotta go up close. Anyway, there you go. Come on. hating me right now. It's trying. It's too much stimulation behind it. But anyway, you see how cool it looks. It's very dimensional too. It like gets really dimensional. And it pretty much will all stick there. It ain't gonna all come out. But I think it looks cool. In fact, I might just connect it there and finish it off. I was just going to leave it like that, but I think I'm just going to connect it. Like You want to put a good, pretty thick amount of glue, though. You definitely want a thick amount of glue. so pretty. Now I really like this one. Now I really like this one. What happened? I found out that I need to be a... <gasps> Yay, Jenny! That's so awesome. You gonna be a grandma? That's two people I know today told me that they were gonna be a grandma. Okay. Let's see. And here I've got those little, um, little stuff that I make, like little, um, glue gun stuff and this is glue gun and then caulking and different different little mediums that I did on wax paper oh you can't see wax paper through a stencil I did that video on it not caulking um, modeling paste why can't I speak through a stencil but I did it on wax paper so I could peel it off and place it where I want you're going to be a great grandma wow that's awesome even better. Nope, that ain't gonna go on there. Maybe, maybe on this one we can put some on there. Not those ones, maybe the light ones. Actually, I think I just want to put a vintage photo on here. I think I had mentioned that. Maybe we'll do something with those though, so I'll leave them over here. Because I think I want to do something with them. Let's see. Ooh, I've got this fairy picture. Oh, that would have looked really pretty on there. I'll have to remember to use that little fairy sleeping which won't show up. Camera focus. It should focus on the thing that's in the front of it. It won't do it. It's being bad today. There we go. Let's 
It's a pretty picture. That would have looked nice. That one's too big. I gotta find a tiny one. I may have to print out some tiny pictures just for my little. I got this tiny poodle. Mm. Mm, that might not be right. Something a little bigger. Or I can just do a couple of different ones. I'm digging through I love this picture. It's one of my favorite pictures that I have. Focus, please. Please. I don't want to focus. But you see it. It's a cool picture. I like all the old pictures of the burlesque girls and the the different gypsy girls and stuff. Those are my favorite pictures. And then this one's the other favorite picture. I love this one too, where the two girls are laughing. That's another one of my favorites. Put her on a postcard. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> hmm. I can't believe that all my pictures are just a little too big. I have Marilyn Monroe. Just a little too big. These are magazine cutouts, these ones here. These aren't like photos. Those are magazine cutouts of like Marilyn Monroe and I have no idea. I think that's Jackie O and such. I don't know. I keep a mirage of photos. This would work. I could put that and something else. Sorry, I'll go off camera. Nineteen. This one here? Yeah, this one's probably late 1800s, this one. little bit shorter. There we go. We're going to sit that on some gauze. Um, ooh, no. Let's see. Oh, the two girls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's definitely probably the 30s. 20s or 30s. Kind of hard to do with such a small. I may have to cut it more on the bottom. Let's do it a little more. There we go. I'll just get her the majority of her. Yeah. 
can do that. Take a little. Let's see. Oh. Too, I think. But then I have this other one, which might be thinner, it might be better. Hi, Sandra. Somebody gave me this in a happy mail. Happy mail. Yeah, that might be better. Yeah, I'll save that one for another time. And let's see, what else do I have? Some, maybe some vintage lace. Let me go look real quick to see if I have a piece of lace. Actually, I know I do. I know I do right here. Oops, I almost tripped over my signs. Okay. get a organized what is organized goodness I wish for you to come here and, and then tell me that <laughs> I'm working out of a brown paper bag with lace in it and how organized is that <laughs> is that really that organized I don't know I don't know <laughs> brown paper bag in it with my lace I might do a little bit of that lace with a little bit of that lace How far down do I want that so that it doesn't cover up parts completely? Okay, that's good. Hopefully. I do the same thing, Marion, <laughs> every time I look for something, especially if it's something that's not like right around me, but even things that are, I have things like everywhere. And yeah, it, sometimes it, it is like Christmas. I'll be like, oh, I forgot I had that or something. A lot of times that happens only if it's been in my closet for, but I don't keep a lot of, I don't keep my, really my good stuff in my closet anyway. I just keep like a bunch of crap in there, but still I'll be like, oh, I forgot I had that. I could have used that on such and such or something weird. I keep like cardboard and junk mail in my closet and old, like, well, that's where my napkins are. I don't use my napkins as much as I used to. 
I used to use my napkins constantly because I used to make all kinds of decoupage things. I was on the DIY network because of my stupid napkin decoupage stuff. I used to be like the decoupage queen. The DIY network did a segment on my decoupage um, uh, yep. um, crap, I can't think of the name of it. Um, well, they did the, a segment on two different things on my, I had a decoupage headboard idea thing, and then my decoupaged, um, trim, like wall trim, where you take a napkin and you decoupage it onto the trim to make your trim de decorated, decorative. I want to round off the edges of this, but I'm not sure. Let's see if I can find my corner edger thing that I want. There it is. That was pretty easy. Whoa. See, now those are organized, sort of, because they're kind of right next to me. Some of them are. You leaving? Aw, night, Janet. Get some sleep, woman. Wow, that's cool. Want to see it. Want to see what? Did I something I did? Oh, the thing you mean the, the thing about the DIY network? Yeah. I wasn't on it personally. They they had their actors or whatever do it. But I was the name on it though. They put my name on it. I'm making quite the mess. I think that's cute. Not bad, not bad. Oh, I know. That would have been great, but they do their I guess they didn't they didn't want nobody's doing it. They would just take my ideas. <laughs> I mean, I got credit for it on there. You know, they would say who the idea came from. I think I'm going to put a saying there, and let's see. Let's see. Some of these are kind of... My vintage heart. Perfect. Except there's no heart. Yeah, I used to love to organize. I mean, well, I did it for a living, so I had to love it. <laughs> I know, I'm the same way. I have to see everything. I can't pack things away too much. I have to have everything around me, which is why I'm living in the clutter. A little bit because I like having everything near me why do you say yikes
You too? You have to have everything around you? Yeah, I definitely do. <clears throat> I like it at arm's length <laughs> so I can reach it, but it's hard to do that. So a lot of times I'm like, I got to get up. I got to go get this. I got to get that. I think when I move, I'll have it more situated so I'll be able to keep everything at an arm's length pretty much without too much fuss. But obviously, where I'm at now, I can't do that because I don't have the entire room to myself. Well, I have it to myself, but I mean, for my crafts, I have it kind of set up because I used to obviously have my business and I still have that desk set up like that. So let me put a little... Something around that in black, maybe. Or actually, what I would like to do is, let's see. I need to move that out of the way. Let's see if I can find my pen. There it is. It writes on the wax. tip but well, I might have ruined it fix it. I just can't press hard with it or else it'll get ruined. <laughs> Hi Rose. I'm making my little cards for my little Screw it and do it. Rolodex. And I am attempting to use this little marker, which has like sepia ink in it, to outline my letters. Well, anyway, it's something. Focus. You can do it. No, it don't wanna, but it's pretty. 
giving me issues today. It's because I haven't zoomed in a bit. That's probably why. As long as I don't zoom it in too much, it's okay. So see, I didn't even intend on doing that much today. And I ended up doing all these cards. That's what happens when you don't think you're going to do something. Even just sitting down for 10 minutes can spark your interest for hours and hours without even realizing it. It's like two? It's like two what? Oh, I never put a saying on this one, so I guess I should do that. Well, let's do that. Three hours? What? How long I've been going? Oh, I don't even know how long have I been going. You going to bed? Have a good night, Linda. Yes, it was fun to hang out with you guys. Well, I'm not going anywhere yet. I still got to come up with some words to go on. There. Still got to figure it out. Let's see. I don't really want these. Where are my white words at? What did I do with them? Jane, did you take my words? I know it was you. I know it was you, lady. Hmm. What's that? Oh, wait. I found them. Did I not? No, maybe not. Wait a minute. Why can't I ever find anything that I need? those. Maybe I'll use those. Yeah, maybe we'll just use those. There we go. back from vacation? How was it? It goes this way. Did you bring me back a t-shirt? What are think cards? You stole them? This one does look mermaidy. I don't have any corners because my house is round. <laughs> Or, well, it's hexagon shaped. Not exactly round, but round enough. More round than most people's houses. It kind of looks round. I don't really have many corners in this house, though. Like my bedroom, there are no corners. Yeah, 
the only corners are in this room there's some corners because it's like a square room and the guest room is square but like my living room there's no real corners and my bedroom doesn't have any corners it's bizarre it kind of has like these weird angles in there Oh, I guess I'm just sticking them on. I'm not even peeling them off the back. You stole my words? And my cards? Ugh. Mean. She steals everything. <laughs> It says, bloom where you are planted. So I got all of these cards plus this one. Six cards. Not bad. Not bad. Now I need to see where they're going to go in my rolly decks thing you take after me why would you do now <laughs> oh god yeah you're accident prone I'm accident prone you live in a dome <laughs> no it's not a dome it's a hexagon shaped house so it sort of looks roundish it looks like this. I'll show you. Let me move that out of the way. It's kind of like... If you look down from the sky at my roof, it's kind of like this. Or whatever. Well, I screwed that up like that. Um, don't pay attention to that line. It's kind of like that, sort of. And the roof goes up in certain ways. It goes like that. And it it has like peaks and you know mountains full, whatever. You know what I mean? So it's kind of roundish. That's kind of like a roundy. And so they made really good use of the space in this house. So like the bedroom is back here and the closets all go into the the closets go in and what well they go more like that Ugh, I can't explain it the closets let's say this was a closet they go into the peak so it would be like this so like there's the door to the closet like there's the door to the closet and the it'll they go into a point kind of so that that's where the closets will be kind of in a couple of the closets so that it, it, like it makes use of the useless space of the points it's hard to explain but it's pretty awesome i like the uniqueness of my house it's kind of cool Yes, like a gazebo. Exactly. That's kind of what it looks like. Exactly. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting, Auntie Bernie. You should take a picture of your neighbor's house and send it to me so I could see what it looks like and compare. See if it's similar. Hi, Zoe. Oh, my God. Can you see a close-up of the top right card after I now have destroyed they're placing which one say it again which one did you want to see a close-up of yeah hexagon house that's it because now that i move them around it might not be the top right one what is a dome a dome is like like a shape you know like that it's domed on top like circular the girl bottom. Ah. It doesn't like to focus. I'll have to back it out a little bit. I bet yeah, I'll get it to work. It should focus. 
focus better now when I hold it up. Come on. Yeah, Rolodex cards. Rolodex cards. Rolodex cards. Um, yeah, and I'm putting them into my Rolodex. Uh, in the alphabetical order. Like, so this is my vintage heart. So I'm going to put this under V for vintage. And then, let's see. This one says dream with me or no bear with me and it's um hmm I'll put it under flower I have a couple under flower already so I'll put that under there because it's got a flower this one's got a flower so I'll put that under flower this one says choose love so I'll put it under L for love This one's a fairy, so I'll put it under F for fairy. And that goes under flower, too. Moon, goddess, so I'll put this under moon, M. Yeah, kind of like that. Bye, Aunt Bernie. So now all my cards are in there. Getting a pretty good collection of my little 10 minute screw it or do it. It doesn't take long now, does it? No, it does not. Ladies. So who's coming to my yard sale tomorrow? <laughs> who's coming to help? I'm going to need some help tomorrow, so come on down. No, um, well, this is it. <laughs> well, because I'm going to be, um, I, I'm going to have to go to bed early tonight because I got to get up at like 4 a.m. So I'm not going to be able to do a pajama party, unfortunately. Want want because I gotta get up early for my yard sale, and then I gotta be up early again on s Sunday, and then uh, so hopefully I'll do. Well, I did several live streams this week. I did them earlier, though. That's the only thing. Oh, I do. I have an advertisement on Craigslist. I have an advertisement on my town's thingamajigator. And I have an advertisement on my neighborhood thingamajigator. And on the county thingamajigator. <laughs> like, I've been going around putting all kinds of ads up everywhere. And then I've got signs that I did. So, oh. Unblur me right now. I insist. Why is it being all blurry? Come on. There you go. You could do it. Did I do something to it? Now it wants to focus on everything over here. There we go. 
<laughs> I hope I'll sell a lot because I need some money right now. I have a lot to sell. Yeah, I do have a ridiculously long lifeline, actually. If this is supposed to be your lifeline and mine wraps all the way around and goes all the way back here. <laughs> but I'm not going to have a long life, I can guarantee that, because nobody in my family ever does. So all of this stuff is BS. Because it also tells me I'm supposed to have like so many kids and I don't have any of those either. <laughs> I don't know whose life it's talking about, but it isn't talking about mine. Seems like someone in chat sent PayPal for something in yard sale, but couldn't find it again. Who's yard sale? I don't put teaser ads in because everything I have is in boxes right now and there's no way for me to go downstairs and worry about it. Either people are going to, people around here, they'll show up. I don't even have to add, I don't even have to put up ads and things show up. What do you mean? Where did she do what? Janet is popping pics. I don't know what you're talking about. Seems like someone in the chat sent PayPal for something in the yard sale, but can't find it again. PayPal? Oh. Yeah, I might do a live from the yard sale just to, just to check in and say hi. And Oh, I'll have to look and see. I, I might not have seen it because I'm a dingbat. <laughs> Goodness. I'm a dingbat. Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah, live yard sale. It'll probably be boring, but I won't keep. I will. I won't stay on too long and bore everybody. But I do get some characters that come out to the yard sale. Every time I have a yard sale, I get some weird people. Oh, you don't have yard sales in your country? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, it'll probably be earlier than now, though. I don't know. What what country are you in again? What time is it where you're at? Because it's going to be a lot earlier than you, than now. So, you might not be awake. Yeah, we're starting at 8, just so I don't have to, because it's going to be hard enough to get Chris to move his ass, so. Yeah, we get a couple crazies here. Oh, it's 2.18 a.m., 2.17 a.m.? Yeah, it might be, it might be, well, I don't know, it might be late at night or in the evening for you when I'm, when I'm out there, but. I don't know. If you see me on live, then then you know to check it out. Because if I'm on live tomorrow at all, it's likely going to be at the yard sale. I might go live from my phone, though, so it might look weird. If I can get a connection, I'll go live. All right, I better go because Chris is going to be home any minute and I have to go get dressed and put my shoes on and take my signs and get ready to to go so I can take my signs and go put them up. I'll talk to you guys later. You don't have yard sales in the UK? That's weird. That's really weird. Well, start a trend. Have a yard sale. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies, it is nice hanging out with you. Have a good night. Poodle Pack out.